hope you're doing well. It is a beautiful fall Friday. I've got my windows open and it is also my birthday today. And I've decided to take today off, but first I wanted to just sit down and share some really fun stuff with you. I've got a few knitting projects that I've really been enjoying this week. I've got some happy mail that has come in the last couple of weeks. And I'm also having a shop update on Sunday and I have a few new things to add to the shop and I thought it would be a fun time to just sit down and share everything with you. Fall is officially here and it is my absolute favorite time of the year. I really love September, although October is a very close second, but September just has all of my favorite things. The start of a new school year, which means new school supplies, new routines, it also means some new planner supplies for me. It's also my birthday month and it just gets me so excited to have a fresh new start and the seasons are starting to change too. Our weather finally has turned a little bit. The sun is out now, but we've had rain for the last couple of days. The windows are open. It might be a little bit noisy, but it's just too nice to close the windows. I have just been dreaming of the colder months. I've been nesting around the house, planning knitting projects, trying to finish a few whips. I've been really doing some organizing and a little bit of decorating in my home too. I just cannot wait for those darker evenings where I can just sit on the couch with a cup of tea and enjoy my knitting. So excited about the next season ahead. So I have quite a few knitting projects that I want to share with you and also a finished object. I am so excited to finally have this project off my needles. It is the Gradient Cowl, which is a free pattern from Pearl Soho. I also purchased the yarn as a kit from Pearl Soho. It was the grapefruit kit. I have loved this project and I'm so happy to finally have it blocked and all the ends woven in and completely finished so that I can wear it. It is super cozy. I started this project five or six years ago. It's been on my needles a really long time and it has just been tucked away here and there and just one of those projects that I really needed to take breaks from. I think it's because it has a lot of seed stitch and I'm one of those people that when I'm doing a project it can take me a really long time in the middle. I'm pretty quick at starting and I'm pretty quick at finishing but that big huge middle ground that feels kind of daunting and overwhelming I just lose my motivation so it has been tucked away for many many months and I've pulled it out I think every spring or summer sometimes I haven't even really knit more than a couple of rows but I finally finished it it was really fun to do those last few colors and get it off of my needles and basically it is just a long strip like a scarf and then you mattress stitch them together the ends together at the end so it ranges from this really vibrant pink and it radiates into the orange a light pink ivory and yellow and then back again. So happy that it's done. It looks really good with my jean jacket, just like I was hoping it would. And it's just staying on the hook near the front door so that whenever it is crisp and cool and I'm heading out, I can just pop it on. Really, really happy with it. I do have a project page on Ravelry. My Ravelry username is Sandy Ran. So if you want more details about it, um, it is there, but it is very simple. I just use the kit. I don't remember the needles I used. I've pretty much put all of the details behind me now that it is finally done. So after I finished that, I've been really trying to focus on the Styx Plus Twine Fall Finish Along, which is a finish along that my friend Eric is doing. Um, 
and I have a lot of projects. I probably spoke about this the last time. I have a lot of whips because I lose interest very quickly. And I've been trying to finish or focus on just a couple. I know I will not um, finish even half of them right now. But I thought if I just focused my time on first that gradient cowl and then pick another project next, um, that might help me make some progress. And so I'm on the second whip that I'm focusing on for the Sticks Plus Twine Fall Finish Along. It's in one of my black bunny bags. And it is the Hipster Shawl. And I have made a bit of progress on it, but again, I stopped. So I'm trying to pull it out and focus on it. This is a beautiful pattern from Hohi Locatelli. And here it is. I think the last time I shared, I was on that first sort of crossover pattern. I've been making a bit of progress. The yarn I am using is so lovely to work with. It is Chelsea Lux DK, and the color is Sunflower. I really, really love this color because it's kind of a color that will go with everything. So I almost want to call it a neutral, but it's not. It's too special, and I really love it. I think it's going to go with so much, and it has a really nice... Um, variation in the tones. So I'm loving that and I'm really loving knitting it because it's kind of combining this really fun pattern um, and this interesting crossover stitch. There's a little bit of a pattern segment in here and then I'm getting into um, garter stitch panels which are kind of mindless and really enjoyable and because it's a nice plumpy DK, it seems to be knitting quite quickly. So I'm loving this project. Um, I don't remember the size needles that I'm using for it, but I'm just using what the pattern called for. And I have a pattern, pa a pattern page for this project as well. So this is the one I am trying to focus on for the finish along. And I have lots of socks that I'm also working on, but I just have not felt like sock knitting. I really only felt like working on the next two projects. So these two whips are all I've been wanting to work on. The first one, I've switched the bag that it was in. I've popped it into one of my little patchwork bags that I made a long time ago. It is the half and half triangle wrap from the Pearl Soho again. Colors I'm using are, I couldn't remember the color names of my yarn, so I just grabbed them. They are Purple Smoke and Dark Iris. I'm a huge fan of purple. I love these two colors. And they are so beautiful in this linen quill because you can see how much character and texture they have. And it's also really soft and squishy. I really love this. It is the Linen Quill from Pearl Soho. I am doing the large size half and half triangle wrap, which I think takes three of each color. And I am just enjoying it so very much. Right now, there's something so soothing about garter stitch. I don't find it boring at all. I really enjoy it. So I've been keeping this project in my bedroom near my bedside table so that even when I'm really, really tired and I just don't feel like knitting, I can pick this up and just do a couple of rows without thinking too much about it. It's a really simple pattern. You don't need to, um, once you know how you're doing your short, row, your short rows, um, you don't even need to reference the pattern. So I am really enjoying this again. I've probably doubled it in size since the last time I shared and it's just motivating me to try and push through this project. I have this beautiful Blackberry Pie Progress Keeper on there from Sucre Sucre Miniatures 
and I'm just really enjoying this one. Of course, I'm thinking about all of the other colors I could be doing. I'm very tempted. I would love to do a small version, but for now, I am just going to plug away on this one. But what I've mostly been knitting on, and absolutely obsessed with knitting right now, is in my small camo tote bag. This was a project that my friend Eric and I decided to treat ourselves for our birthdays. There is a knit along going on with Clinton Hill cashmere for the Classen triangle with a twist pattern. It is a really simple design, but it is so beautiful um, knit in their cashmere. It is an Aran weight, so it's moving really, really quickly. I've got my yarn in this little drawstring bag that came with my kit. And I am using the light gray color. And then my pop of color will be just like the photos in the pattern. I couldn't resist this color combination. It is this really bright pink. I love knitting with this. Of course, it is so luxurious, but it is just creating the most beautiful, plumpy, soft fabric. So this has gotten all of my attention. I am really excited to be making good progress on it because I really wanted to try to stick with the knit along and finish it in time with that. So we've had one Zoom meeting so far. I need to continue working away. I've already done, um, I've already completed one ball. I'm on my second. And I think there is a total, I'm doing the large size. There was a total of four of these and then the one contrast color. So it's knitting up really beautifully. It's just a really simple design, which I think is fun to knit. I'm really enjoying that. I have come to realize that the simpler the pattern, um, without being boring, but the simpler the pattern, the more likely I am to want to finish it because that is what I want to wear. Anything super complex in pattern can be fun sometimes, but I just find the things that I want to wear have really clean lines and um, a really simple look to them. So I think this is going to be perfect in my wardrobe. I cannot wait to snuggle up with this. It is just the most fabulous project. So that's what I've been working on mostly. And I love having everything for this project all tucked in my project bag here, which is my small tote just because it's a little bit luxurious knitting with cashmere I wanted to devote a really special leather bag for it and this one just goes all over the house with me. I have some happy mail that I've been waiting to share with you. I've had a couple of them for a little while but I didn't want to share this first one in my last episode. I think I had it then but I was saving one for a friend and I didn't want to spoil any surprises. So the first one is this gorgeous skein of self-striping yarn from Woolens and Nosh. It is a DK weight and I think that is my first self-striping DK weight. So excited to try this one. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I love all of her color combinations. And I really liked how this one had this deep navy in it with all of these fun colors. Really does look like a Hawaiian shirt. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to cast on my friend Kay's simple DK weight sock that she came out with recently. I'm going to link the pattern below. I think it would be the perfect pattern to showcase the stripes in this yarn. So I'm anxious to cast this on, but I am really waiting because I have so many socks on the needles. And once I get through some progress on some of my bigger projects, I think I'm going to 
ease into some major sock knitting. Finish a few pairs that I've got going, and then I will be ready for those colder months to cast this one on and maybe some other ones. I'm starting to think about Christmas socks already and winter knitting, so got lots of sock knitting on my mind, but I just haven't really been into sock knitting much lately. Another purchase I made recently was from my friend Annie's shop. She has her beautiful hand-dyed yarn. It's um, Her label is Annie Perenne. And she has been doing the most stunning colors of yarns lately. And she had this huge selection of Taylor Swift inspired colors. And this was the folklore collection. And I never, I was never really a big Taylor Swift fan until I discovered the Folklore album maybe a year or so ago. It was, I remember specifically, I was painting the family room on the main floor and I had just recently got that album and I just had it on replay while I was painting and fell in love with absolutely every song. So when Annie came out with this Folklore inspired mini collection. I had to grab one. It's beautiful. And I really didn't know what my plans were for it. Um, I knew I would find something to make with them. But recently, Annie has been sharing some photos of a new cowl design. I believe it's her first design. And I've also discovered that I'm a big fan of cowls and her pattern looks beautiful. She is using a whole bunch of minis and she's holding it double stranded with a skein of fingering weight yarn. I'll probably pick a really nice neutral that will go with all of them. And I'm really excited about that pattern of hers. It's going to be called Mixtape Cowl and she's hoping to release it in the next couple of weeks. So got my eye on that. That is definitely going to be a really cozy knit this fall, probably later, maybe in November, I will start that. It's just beautiful. Look at these colors. And each one of these is a name of a song from the Folklore album. I think this is my favorite song here. Invisible String, my favorite. They're all beautiful. So you should check out Annie's shop. She has beautiful yarn. She's such a talented dyer. I'm really excited about her new pattern. And speaking of talented dyers, my friend Amanda from Sweet Skein of Mine sent me a little surprise in the mail. I was not expecting this, but I'm absolutely in love with it. It is a skein of her hand dyed fingering weight yarn in the 801010 base, so it's super soft. And it is called Raspberry Cheesecake, which is one of my favorite desserts. So it's very appropriate. I think the color is beautiful. And I'm kind of thinking this would make a really pretty one skein shawl, if I can find one, or a gorgeous pair of luxurious socks. And I really would like some luxurious socks in my life. So thank you so much, Amanda. It is so pretty. I will put a link to Amanda's shop down below. She included this really pretty card, some stationery bits, because we both love our planners, and some tea. Such a nice treat. So I had lots of goodies this month. Next up, I have a little bit of an update for my shop. If you follow me on Instagram um, about a week or so ago, you might have seen that I did a really fun collaboration with my friend Christina from Chelsea Yarns. It was also on her Instagram account. Um, she had a huge, amazing booth and launch of all kinds of colors and a new pattern at the New Jersey Sheep and Wool Festival. I think it's a week and a half ago now, almost two weeks. Yes, yeah, two weeks ago. And we did a collaboration where I found this beautiful leather that made me think of Christina. 
and I shared it with her and she decided to dye a skein of yarn to match it. So it is this pink camouflage leather. We both offered pre-orders for the leather totes, the small one and the everything leather tote bag and also the bunny bags. We both offered them in our shops. They're still available. And she dyed this most beautiful skein of yarn. That is so pretty. It's called Pink Camouflage. It is kind of like a really soft neutral, but it is so special at the same time. It just has this beautiful pale but bright pink and some speckles in there. It's so pretty. This is on her fingering weight base. And she sent one of these beautiful, oops, I pulled it apart a bit. She also sent some of these other bases. So I know this is one of her new bases and um, she has a gorgeous new pattern that's knit with this held along with mohair. And I'm really excited to cast one on. It's called Something Cozy. Such a beautiful, beautiful sweater. I cannot wait. I'm actually just waiting for another color that I wanna cast it on, but I wanted to share all of these different bases in this color. They are so beautiful. So that is all her pink camouflage colorway. And I believe they are still in her shop. And also the pre-orders for the pink camouflage leather. I really love this one. And as soon as I saw it, I thought of her. There was just something about this pink and the camel print that just had her name all over it. So if you are interested in any of those, you should check out either one of our shops and all of the yarn is in Christina's shop. I also have some new items to add into my shop on Sunday, which is September 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have some new bunny bags in this really fun navy blue star print that I've had for a couple of weeks now and I'm finally getting those up and ready to go into the shop on Sunday. I'm really loving the bunny bags. I find them really easy to carry around the house and I love not having a drawstring or a zipper or anything and just tying up the top. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's new for me. So I'm really, really enjoying that right now. I also decided to bring back one of my favorite items from my shop that I haven't had in stock in a really long time. It was the first leather design that I made and put in my shop. It was this flat clutch, flat pouch or clutch. So um, it has leather on the outside with a strip of that chevron denim that I love so much, but unfortunately has been discontinued. And so I've decided to just kind of use what I have left on some of these flat pouches that I love. And when I originally launched them, I had them in the black leather and the brown, very classic colors. And I decided when I was bringing them back again for this update that I would maybe do some new colors. I think I had just seen a piece of this green camo on my cutting table with the denim beside it and I thought I needed to have one. So I will have them in the shop in the black, in the brown, in the green camo, and then in two of my other favorite colors that I thought the denim looked really pretty with the Black Plum and Iris. So I will have a few of all of these colors in the shop on Sunday. I am keeping one of these for myself right off the bat. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this as a clutch tonight when we go out for my birthday dinner. I'm just gonna throw in my mask and my lip balm 
my hand cream, my keys, my wallet, and I'll be good to go. But I also really love using this as kind of a everything pouch in my bigger tote bags. I have a brown one that I always swap into whatever bag I'm using. And I have my charger, band-aids, um, hand cream, hair ties, whatever I always like to keep in my tote bag that I don't want floating around in the bottom of it. I put in one of these pouches and whatever tote bag I'm using, I just move it into that bag. But I'm definitely keeping one of these and I'm going to use it as a real clutch tonight. And I also have a black one that I've kept for myself and that has a sock project in it. So I feel like they're really versatile, but because they're flat, they can just kind of go anywhere with you. And I love taking these with me when I travel, even though there isn't a lot of traveling right now, because I can keep whatever I need in it. But then if I want a purse for nighttime, I can just take this one with me without carrying a big bag. So I'm really excited to be bringing my flat pouches back. I will have everything updated in the shop on Sunday and then just some other shop news going forward. I'm working on my regular project bags right now. I've been so busy with other things. I haven't done any of my zipper project bags in a really long time. I have um, some that are on my ironing board right now. And I've also just received my Christmas fabric that I've ordered. I am really excited about Christmas bags. And so I'm going to start cutting those soon. And I'll share some sneak peeks of that on Instagram soon. I think I forgot to mention earlier where else you can find me. I'm on Instagram as Sandy by the Lakeside. I am on Ravelry as Sandy Ran. I have a shop where you can find all of my project bags and leather items, which is bythelakeside.com. And I also have a Patreon. So that is by the lakeside and I share weekly vlogs and videos of behind the scenes stuff, what I'm doing in my home, in my kitchen, with my planners and knitting and all of that stuff. So I have one more thing that I wanted to share with you. And then I think I'm going to clean everything up take the afternoon off and get ready for my dinner out tonight. I have shared a lot of inspirational cookbooks and other books that I've loved over the last few years in videos. And I had a very sweet lady that I met online, Marianne, who reached out to me and wanted to share a book that inspires her because she thought I would love it too. Thank you so much, Marianne, for sending me this book. I'm absolutely loving it. I had seen it floating around on different blogs and websites over the last little while. It's always intrigued me, but I never actually picked it up and flipped through it. And I am so grateful that you sent it to me because you were right. It is exactly the type of book that I love. It's called The Year of Cozy. It's by Adriana Adarme. I'm sure some of you have this or have flipped through it. It is really popular um, and it's a book that has a whole bunch of inspiration. It's got recipes, crafts, other homemade projects and things. And I just thought I would share a little flip through because I love inspirational books, but I really like to see them. And with a lot of online ordering now, I just find it so nice to get a glimpse at what's in a book before I actually purchase it. So this book is really beautifully put together. It is split up into seasons and then into months as well. The photographs are beautiful and inspiring. It starts off with autumn. And it's just peppered with so many beautiful home projects and recipes and pretty much everything in here I think I would like to make in my kitchen. There are desserts. There are little home projects for your decor. And I just thought it was really beautiful. December is really nice too with some wrapping ideas. There are floral inspirations, um, lots of baking, 
some cozy soups. I just thought it was a really beautiful book and I wanted to share it as my current inspiration because I always like to share a new book. It's really, really pretty. So if you've been thinking about this one, I would highly recommend it. So thank you so much again, Marianne, for sending it to me. It has been living on my coffee table. I've been enjoying it. Whenever I sit down and just wanted to flip through something, this is my complete inspiration for seasonal recipes and projects and decor. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed having a peek into my project bags and that you are enjoying your fall and have lots of inspiring books and knitting projects on your lap. I will see you guys next time, hopefully with lots of progress, finished projects, and maybe even some new cast-ons.